Hey guys, I wanted to make a little video quick about a uh, company that I really like that I found like uh, a couple months ago. Just wanted to show you that I purchased a couple of items from them. I had a little thing going right now, so I got stuck on uh, buying machete for a little while. I really like machete. You get uh, a lot of items for the price. This is, well, I won't see right. As you can see, the name of the company is Condor Tool and Knife. Really good company. Makes really quality product for really reasonable price. Start off with the first one. This one's empty. Uh, this one's a machete I got in my car. So, this is a Condor Eco Light machete. Let me put the box here. Condor Eco Light Machete, 1075 carbon steel. It's a pretty nice, handy little machete. I really like the the style of those machetes. The handle, real comfortable in the hand. Really light machete, really sharp out of the box. Pretty much Condor. They come they come up with. Uh, their knife and their machete they are pretty sharp sometimes you need a little touch up on them but you know for the price you know I, you can't go wrong you can't buy a cold steel and expect it to be this sharp out of the box condor would would be cold steel every time for uh, initial sharpness out of the uh, out of the factory I bought a cold steel machete and then you know the grind was uneven and that's all crap the grind on this one is just close to perfect so you know, a little uh, convex grind on it. Pretty much all Condor have convex grind on their uh, knife and machetes. Let's see this one. The empty box is uh, gonna be like this one. This is an El Salvador machete with the letter sheet. Yeah, it comes with a nice letter sheet for some of their knife and machete. I wish they had some some type of plastic sheet, especially for their knives. Because a knife, uh, you know, and especially a tactical knife, would be better for uh, for plastic sheet, like the Condor knife and tool uh, Tolosa, which I really wanna, I really wanna have, maybe buy in the future. Looks like a great knife with my card handle. So let me get a machete out the sheet. There you go. This one is an El Salvador. It's in 420 HG. Look at the nice even grind. Nice. The little condor, Ida condor hole on it. Yeah, pretty sharp out of the box. Nice coating. I went out in the woods and tried them out, and you know, you can cut. A lot of stuff with these things. You can cut trees, you can baton, you can do a lot of things with these. Really like. I'm gonna try to keep this video short. And as you can see, if you look at any video on YouTube, there's sheet. Nice quality letter sheet. Really good machete. Little condor emblem. Sorry if the video was, seems a little slow, filming this out of my uh, HTC Panache, so. A little phone review. And right over here, might be one of my favorite machete, which I wish I bought two of them because now they only come with a sheet, but still, $30, uh, $30 for uh, the machete and the sheet. The Condor Barong machete. Really like this. Nice chopper, compact size, fast in the hand, light but pretty thick, thicker than the machete. It's almost gonna be as thick as my next item. Nice grind on this. I did touch up the edge a little bit with my crock stick but I did it on pretty much all my uh, my knives so 
just ordered a few from China, Senram New and stuff like that. And <laughs> the Senram New was known for being sharp out of the box, mine couldn't even cut paper, so after I put a dent on it with my crock stick, now it shaves paper like nothing, man. It's really nice. Alright, and last item, something that's gonna interest a lot of outdoorsmen. Like, like you can see, I really like this company, and I got like. I may order a few more machetes and a few more knives in the future, and there's the. Uh, Speed Bowie that I really like, and they're coming up with a speed machete, which might be pretty interesting. I five, you know, <laughs> would have unlimited fun. I would, I would buy pretty much a lot of stuff. This is gonna be the Condor Komanga. This is a ten and one eight inch knife, I think. Close to 10 inch knife. Let me get this thing out. Yeah. As you can see, it did have a little bit of use on it. Baton with this thing. And baton like a two, uh, <laughs> two foot uh, log with this. Maybe a uh, you know, 7 inch uh, diameter log. Took me a while and it was painful, but the knife did not bend, did not crack, did not chip, did not break in half. You know, 1075 is a little bit softer than 1095, so you're gonna have less chance of it chipping or, uh, you know, even breaking, so. Really nice knife for the money. 30 bucks, knife and sheet. And the Barank 230 knife and sheet. Well, I don't have the sheet on this, but now they're selling it with knife and sheet. So. Pretty good machete, really like it. I mean, uh, <laughs> 10 inch knife, really like it. And their machetes, too. No, you can't go wrong. 10 inch knife, 30 bucks. Comes pretty sharp out of the box. If you touch up on a crock stick, and it'll take off air. So, yeah, really like this. Nice little compact machete. You know, you can't afford a cold steel trailmaster, which I wouldn't buy cold steel, anyways, because they, I think they're overpriced for what they have. Maybe go with a buck. You know, a buck. Uh, what's the name of that? Or uh, Ontario with a 10, uh, 1095 or Artac 2 or the new Gen 2 line made in 5160. If I would go with a, a big little upgrade from this, I would go with 5160 steel from the buck or from Ontario just because. You know, 1095 tend to chip, tend to break a little. 1095 is, uh, I mean, uh, 5160 is the new hot steel right now, which is proven, and there's no, not many bad review on on the steel right now. So up to now, this is the new best steel for outdoor and wilderness use. But for thirty dollars, you really can't go wrong with this. I got pretty large hand, and it fits the hand well. I like the grip on the handle. Get a nice lanyard hole. You know, I had some fun. You can cut branches, you can chop tree, you can baton, you can do pretty much anything with this. Well, just wanted to make a little update. A little my second video. I know the first one took a while before I made the second one, but just wanted to show a little condor tool knife. little collection I got going right now probably the next thing I'm gonna buy from them is either a new machete or maybe I would like uh, to have another barong this one I really like and you know these I already got like two or three of them already so maybe another barong and another uh, kumanga you know having two of them it's you know when you get something you like I like to buy two things I like so that's why I got a couple of Ontario Rat one, and I got, you know, a couple of knives that I really like. I, I just buy two of them, especially for uh, for the price. You get tremendous quality and you know, pretty good stuff. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you all for watching.